Today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can password protect and secure your files and folders in Windows 11. This is a super powerful video that's going to have two different methods depending on how you want to approach this. So as I get into it, if it does work for you, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe for more hints and tips, and let's get started. Okay, guys, so we're going to start things off right here on the desktop, okay? We have a file, okay, that has, you know, some different kind of things inside there, a couple of uh, company invoices, some PDFs and things like that, that we want to essentially password protect. So the first method that we're going to talk about today is going to require Windows 11 Pro. Now, in order to check whether you have Windows 11 Pro or not, you want to go over to settings. So we're going to come down to the search bar. We're going to search for settings. Okay, we're gonna click on settings. It's gonna bring up all of our settings for our computer here. We're gonna click on system over on the left-hand side, and then we're gonna scroll all the way down to where it says about. Okay, we're gonna click on that. And here you can see that it says addition Windows 11 Pro in my case. Okay, so that's the first thing we need to check. If you don't have Windows 11 Pro, you're gonna to wanna to skip to the second method. Okay, so if you have got Windows 11 Pro, then this is what we're going to do. We're going to select our folder here. We're gonna right click on it. Okay, and we're going to click on properties. Okay, from properties, we're then going to click on advanced. And from here, we can go ahead and encrypt its contents with secure data. Okay, this is going to use a key to protect uh, the file, which means, well, we'll get into what that means in a moment. We're going to click OK. OK, and then we're going to apply and OK this, and it's going to give you another pop up message. OK, this one's going to tell you, do you want this encryption to be on the top level folder or all subfolders and files included? We are going to basically put it onto the folder only for the purpose of this video. Um, and for the most part, that's kind of what most people are going to want to do. However, on some occasions, you might want all subfolders and files to be encrypted in the same way, in which case you could just leave it on that default option. I'm going to select just the folder for the purpose of today's tutorial. We're going to click OK. OK, and that is now, as you can kind of see, got a padlock icon just on this actual uh, folder. Now, what it's gone and done, and because I have done this before, I actually have a security key that is enabled on my computer. OK, which means that only my user account can actually activate this folder. OK, so as I can click into it, I can click into it because I am logged in as my particular user. If, however, some other user of the computer tried to access this folder, well, they couldn't access it because they don't have access to the private key to actually unlock it. OK, so really important, nice, quick and easy way to do this. Obviously, the first time that you do this, you do need to uh, basically back up your key, give it a password, all that kind of usual stuff if you're unfamiliar with security keys you're going to want to do a little bit more uh, investigation on that maybe let me know in the comments down below if you want to know more about how to set those up um, so yeah do let me know in the comments below but that's your first method a really secure way to kind of lock down your folders and files using uh, your data encryption okay then so method number two this one is a little bit more complicated but also probably the most secure OK, so here we have my folder again. OK, company invoice. It's got uh, four different files in here. OK, but we actually need to add an additional file. OK, now what we're going to do is we're going to open up a notepad. OK, we're just going to bring that into the screen here. Uh, hopefully this actually fits the screen. OK, and this is the code which I'll include uh, in the description down below. OK, this is the code that you're going to want into a text document, but we're not going to save it as a text document. What this is going to do is it's basically going to create a private folder that is then locked down to a password. And every time that you want to essentially open the folder, you have to put the password in. Sounds pretty basic. Um, and that's kind of exactly what is going on here. So as you can kind of see, the only thing that you need to adjust within the code is the your password section right here. OK, so I'm just going to, for the purpose of this video, put in a rough password. In fact, I'm probably actually just going to be really original and just say password. OK, once we are happy that we've set the password, we can go ahead and go to file, save as. OK, inside this uh, document, by the way, on our desktop. So we're going to go over to our desktop. We're going to go into the company invoice uh, folder. OK, and you can see that I've already got a text file in here. You can see it says save as type and it's text document .txt. From here, we're going to choose all files and then it's going to load up everything that's inside our folder. And we are going to rename this. We can rename it whatever we want. Um, I'm going to say unlock. Okay. Or 
unlock and unlock like so okay and then the most important part is that we add the extension which is dot d a e okay like that once we do this we click save okay and we can now close our text document down we don't need it and you can see in here we've got my file that i just created called lock and unlock okay and if we double click it what it's going to do is it's going to create a private folder because it doesn't already exist within our directory okay now what we can do is we can basically grab all of our files here and we can put them into that private folder Okay, and then if I double click to launch this lock and unlock file, do that again, it's going to come up here. Do, are my, let me actually bring this into view. Are you sure you want to lock this file? I'm going to write the uh, letter yes, or the Y for yes, and I'm going to hit enter. Now it's locked the file. It's completely disappeared. You might think that that private folder has actually been deleted, but it hasn't. It's actually still there, but it's hidden from view, and it requires a password to actually access it. Now to access it again, you just double click on the unlock or lock section here. And you wants you to enter the password to unlock your secure folder. Okay, so I'm gonna type that in. And I'm gonna press enter. And it's going to unlock our private folder where we can now gain access to all of our files. Okay, this is a really secure way to do, uh, to kind of lock down your, your files within Windows 11. Something that I do quite a bit on various different machines if they are machines that, you know, are maybe more for kind of like corporate use and things like that. And you really want to kind of secure certain things down. This is a great way to do it outside of using pass keys that we spoke about earlier. And so there are two methods to basically secure your files and folders within Windows. Windows 11. You can let me know which method you prefer in the comments down below. If this works for you guys, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe for more hints and tips, and I'll catch you all in the next one.